Hello all, welcome to Techno Channel. In this video, we will see how SQL Transform works in SAP PODS. Please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. What is SQL Transform? SQL Transform will perform the SQL query operation. And SQL Transform doesn't require any input data. It has a few options we need to specify and we need to give data store, the join rank, we have catchy options, select the catch box to hold the output in the memory, and we have array fetch size option. The number of rows returned in a single request to a source database. It means it will tell how many rows it will be retrieved at a single request. And then last one we have SQL text. Here we will write our SQL query. This is the SQL transform editor. Here we can see only schema out. We don't have any schema in here. It's not giving any input here, so we don't have any schema in here. So in schema out, whatever the fields we are expecting will come here. To see the here options, data store here we need to provide the data store name here and database type we need to provide here and join rank based on this join rank it will perform the join if it size is maximum row count it will be 1000 default we can give whatever we need and SQL text we will write our query here so it will directly fetch from the database see how to use SQL transform in data service design SQL transform will be present in the platform transforms this is SQL transform. So I'm taking the SQL transform here. So if you open this, here we need to pick the data store here. So I am taking my data store as page. So my database is Oracle here. So I am giving join rank 0 and my array fetch size is 1000. So let me write my SQL query here. Let's write simple query. So, Start from this is a SQL code. I want to take the data from any table for the plans 1174 and 1704. If you click the update schema, all the fields will be populated here. Here I gave select star, so every field should be populated here. So if I want any specific field, we need to keep it here. I don't require all the fields here, so I will keep whatever the fields I require. So these are the fields I require, so I will click the update schema, only these fields will come into our schema out. This is the way SQL transform will work, whatever the query we write in the SQL text, it will execute that, it will fetch it from the direct database level. SQL transform is preferred when we have billions of data. Go back and connect it to the output. And I am taking target table and directly connecting it. So I am mapping my SQL transform to the output. So all the fields the scheme out will come in the target table. So this is how we will use SQL Transform. Hope you understood how to use SQL Transform in SAP BODS. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.